Hey, what's going on guys? And welcome back to another Jacob's Clash video. Thank you guys so much for the support. We are almost at 670 subscribers, which is incredible. We're gaining subs and viewership at an incredible rate that I can't even thank you guys enough for. If you guys do want to uh, join me in more conversation outside of just the, uh, the comment section, I do have a Discord channel where there's around 30 or so of us in there right now. And I'll try to respond to you guys or just we can build up our community just a little bit more uh, in that Discord server. That will be in the description. But for today's video, we do have a very exciting one and I've been waiting on it for a while. So we're on the Let's Play series. And in my opinion, this is the best thing you can do as a free to play player. And that is unlocking the fifth builder and look at how many gems we're at right now. 1,972. I have a solution to get to the 2,000 gem mark and get us that fifth builder. So if we go into our magic items right here, what is something that we never use? It's going to be this research potion. Look, we can sell it once, twice, and finally three times right there, and we have 2,000 gems. All right, moment of truth, guys. Let's go in right now. Let's click that fifth builder. Let's move him over here. And in three, two, one, bang. We have five builders unlocked. And yeah, that is, that's it. That's the greatest thing you can do as a free to play player. Uh, get that fifth builder unlocked. And guys, that is going to uh, speed up our production by what, 20%, I guess. That's pretty crazy. And what's the first thing we should do once unlocking that fifth builder? Well, I'd say let, let's let's get him busy, right? So let's go and just do the most expensive upgrade we have right here. And let's do the mortar. So as we can see now, I think it's worthwhile where we could use those builder potions uh, or if we wanted to. I'm going to hold off on it just at the moment. Uh, and just as a little base update, here are the suggested upgrades we do have left. And yeah, we can fit it, yeah, all on one page now at this point. And it's not a lot, and it's a lot of our cheaper upgrades. So I'd say probably here in the next week, we are probably gonna go to Town Hall 9, which will be pretty exciting. Also, when clicking this lab upgrades in progress, uh, as we can see, we only have three more things, the dragon, giant, and lightning spell. I personally really do like the research thing. Uh, I find it quite nice to, it, it'll it'll mean less people will rush because they, they'll just look and be like, oh, I'm not Max, you know? So that is pretty awesome. And now we only have two gyms, but it's not like we really need gyms for anything right now. Uh, and then finally, guys, again, we're of course just trying to unlock that six builder and we're getting closer. We're, we're not close at all, guys, but uh, basically... Right now, I'm working on upgrading the gold storage because then I'll have enough loot to go ahead and upgrade that builder hall once again uh, because I'll be able to hold more than 2.8 million. Uh, and that's what this builder hall does, in fact, cost. So before we do upgrade our builder hall, we do, in fact, have to go over here and place this army camp. It will cost 3 million. And as you can see, we're pretty far away from that. But we have recently completed clan games and we have our raid metal shop and I don't see a better place to spend uh, this, basically these raid metals. So we're going to spend it on the builder elixir to speed up that process. And we don't really need any clock tower potions right now because really we're more worried about the resources than the time. So that that's 1.1 million. Uh, again, it does cost 3 million. So I will have to attack off camera a couple times here. Uh, it is, in fact, quite difficult to get Elixir. And that's because we get the Elixir off of our defenses. As you can see, we're getting 200%ed quite a bit here. Uh, or if not 200%ed, close to 200%. And the reason for that, guys, is, of course, we're, we're rushed. We did this to ourselves. But I, again, still stand by the fact where I think this is the best way to uh, get to that 6 Builder. Uh, because we don't want to waste our time upgrading our cannons and archer towers and all of that. It'll just take, frankly, too long. All right, now we are in war right now. And uh, before we go over to the war map, let me show you this real quick uh, war log. 
Yes, we did get promoted in the last CW all season with 371 stars, and we did end up doing a 30v30 war. We were, as you saw in a couple videos ago, it was mismatch after mismatch after mismatch, uh, but we did prevail, or really we won based on consistency. We pretty much used all of our attacks, and that got us through the next phase uh, and promoted us to uh, Gold League 3 or Gold League 2 or whatever the heck we're in now. Uh, and then here is our uh, normal war standings. We are 5-0, and and we did a war every two days up until CW up. And CW is over, so we are in our next war. So for us, we do need to attack, and we are, what are we? We're rank, da, 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 let's find us, 32. So we it's recommending 27, so let's look at this and see if we can three-star. They do, in fact, have clan castle, so it'll make it a little bit more difficult. Um... Hmm. Really getting a two star will not help our clan out. So I'm almost down with just dropping down here to 29 or 30 and facing a mirror of ours. Uh, I believe we can three star this bad boy. So I uh, I will go in on this base right here. Uh, the CC kind of scares me. Uh, we will have to drag that out. Uh, but let's make sure we have clan castle and then let's just go in and do our thing real quick so i'm going to change this balloon to hmm let's change it to a wizard and a barb right here and boom so yep this is the army it is all max and what base did we say we we're doing we said we we're doing 29 let's go in right now guys all right so the first thing is let's make sure to get these barb huts in the corner uh, and then, or builder huts, and then let's pull the CC here if possible. I'm gonna place in a hog rider, pull the CC, and then we, uh, they should get pulled to this right corner over here. We are going, while we're waiting, we are going to throw down these earthquake spells, and then now I'm gonna place down one golem over here, one golem over here, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, dragon, that, that's very frustrating. We're going to place down wall breaker right there. And all right, we are moving in now. Hopefully, hopefully this is enough here, guys. Uh, I'm kind of confused why the Sharon's not quite going down yet. All right, we are placing down an early heal. And then we're also placing down a rage spell. Because we need to make sure we get into this base here pretty quickly. And, well... Only a three star is going to do us any good here. Two stars are no bueno. Uh, the king is down, which is very frustrating. I'm hoping these Valkyries can get around the corner here and start doing their thing. Uh, so the Golem is finally tanking for us, but is it too late here? This base is very rushed, so I think we'll probably be fine. We're going to start throwing down some minions on the backside here. And yes, this will be a three star, guys. A little bit closer than I would have liked. But the enemy CC is always going to be uh, trouble at these lower levels. Uh, but yeah, uh, a fairly well executed attack. Probably should have used hogs there. That would have been a little bit safer. Uh, but we got the job down. Uh, it's kind of frustrating that that dragon was following. Uh, I don't even know what it's following. The archer in the corner instead of the golem we placed to distract. That killed like four or five additional wizards right there. Uh, let's, we have another army trained up right away here, and let's just go in again. Again, we're trying to guarantee three stars. I know it's recommending 27, but again, we were ranked 31, so we technically still are hitting up. So, we're gonna trust our clan mates, which, they're very active, they're very competent players, so full faith that they can hit those bases above us. Let's go in on base number 30 right here, and again, let's open up right over here. Uh, I'm gonna come in by this bomb tower side and again, we are gonna pull the clan castle. I assume it's a dragon again uh, Yep dragon over here, and we're gonna pull it just with one archer this time to make sure they don't run into the corner So we have a couple more archers to pull them a little bit further away here One more archer come on up here nice 
I, I'm going to place the enemy king, and I'm actually going to place all the wizards down behind it, and then we're going to place the the um, golems up ahead. All right, golems are up ahead right now. We're going to wall break into here and here. We're going to place down this bad boy, and in go the Valkyries. All right, we're saving the heal spells uh, right now. All the wizards should go into the base here, theoretically. Uh, we are going to heal right here in the core, and we are going to use our rage spell here in a second. We're going to use it right here on these golems and a couple Valkyries and wizards. Uh, that was a ton of damage over there on the left side. Uh, the enemy king was sacrificed, but I think that was will end up being worth it as we have both our golems up, quite a bit of Valkyries, and quite a bit of Wizards as well. We just really need these golems to end up tanking for our Wizards. Uh, I think most of our Wizards somehow died, though. Uh, okay, this is going to be a lot closer than I would have liked. Once again, we're going to need these golems to distract as these Wizards take them out from the backside here uh, and couple Valkyries. Uh, we have our mini Warden here who's starting to do some damage. Uh, he's also beefing up those uh, uh, wizards and the golems. He has walked away from the golems, which is kind of terrible timing, to be honest. Uh, and the golems are getting beat on while the wizards are not doing their job. Uh, so this is... Looks like this might be a fail. Which is kind of... Well, frankly, it's very embarrassing. Because we could have just used our hog strategy and been just fine. Uh, we're going to have to get lucky here. Yeah, we have literally no tanks left. These wizards are going to have to cook here. Uh, Alright, cook wizards, cook wizards. Uh, Valkyrie is now dead. Oh my gosh, this is going to be... This is going to be a fail. 94%. I don't know what to say. I let, uh, Other than I let the clan down. That's embarrassing. Uh, I will have to watch that back. I thought the funnel went fairly decently uh, like we took out the cc just fine i think the valkyries didn't go into the core of the base and maybe the heal spell wasn't great uh using the mini warden i was trying it in the just live attacks thought i liked it maybe i don't maybe just more dps is better frankly uh but what really hurt us there was our golems and our valkyries split up so while our golems are tanking forever well, the Valkyries and Wizards just weren't taking out the defenses. So, it's alright. We'll live, we'll learn. We'll most likely still win the war. As, hey, we are doing a 40v40 war, and we are just one individual. So, that's fine. Again, we are just doing all these wars so we can gain XP. Grant, wars are fun, but 293 more XP. And we're already going to be a level 4 clan right after this war. So that's pretty crazy as this clan was just made, what, like two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Uh, yeah, that is pretty incredible. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We accomplished something pretty awesome today. We unlocked the fifth builder, and you can't really do anything cooler than that as a free-to-play, especially as a Town Hall 8. I feel like maybe that's a little bit earlier than most people receive the fifth builder, and we're still working on that sixth builder, and my goal for that is probably I'll unlock the sixth builder either like late Town Hall 10, early Town Hall 11. I don't really know. Obviously, I need to get over there and play a little bit more, keep grinding over there. It's really all about consistency. And I think that's where most players struggle, especially over on the builder base. Uh, i sorry for my clan for failing that second attack. I'm sure you guys will clean up and we will win this war. Uh, but yeah, if you do want to join the Discord, uh, do so now so we can, well, have a bigger community. And thank you guys so much for watching, liking all these videos, for subscribing. I appreciate you guys. I've been Jacob. Have a great night. Goodbye. <laughs>